Mm. Alright. We should be getting started in less than a minute here. Just gonna pull up the necessary window so I can see anybody who may want to join in here. I'm gonna turn up the mic just a little bit so that it can capture you. And it's 4 p.m. now, so <coughs> we can see what time it really is. Not to, you don't have to say anything specifically, but are you excited for anything that may be presented today? Not even a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, this reveal, I would expect to debut um, projects that I have not um, heard about. Um, you know, I had my hopes for a Harry Potter RPG of sorts, but it doesn't seem to be the type of thing that they would, I want to say, lump in with what is likely a showcase of next generation hardware. So, here's what it is. Hello to Linda. Hello to Ghetto, Tony, and Sapphire. PlayStation already late. Off to a typical start. <laughs> with they late ass out here telling me to stay tuned. I got a cat that gets angry. I've got a cat that gets angry. Okay, 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 it's time, okay. All right. Uh, Sean says, will PS5 play PS4 games? It better, you know what I mean? With this corny ass. I'll try to shut up through this though. A cube for centuries, this cube Manifest in a pixel state has been our gateway to the world. Beholding, we make cube triangle now. I bet you didn't see that coming. But you know what other fucking buttons are on a PlayStation controller? A circle button and shit. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cube become a circle? But that's not all. We've only covered half of the buttons on the controller. Have you ever seen a cube become an X? Some say that marks the spot, but did you know that there's one more button on just one side of our controller and this cube is becoming a square? And with these buttons we have the buttons on our controller. And thank you for this. Thank you for coming. I hope you guys have a wonderful and don't forget Sony compute. Oh, we doing a we doing a remember this. Okay. No. I like the hand with them though. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm I thought I did something wrong. Let me get this a little bit louder, just a little bit. Hello to the Sean Watson and the Ponage. You, me, together. We were Damn. destined for something great. Oh. <laughs> it's a real man's legacy of video games. Here's hoping we don't ruin it with no woke bullshit. Here we go. Why did I move here? I guess it was the weather. No. GTA 5. Nah, I don't know that thing. That magic. Yo, are they are they having like a uh I thought we was trying to get out of this bullshit. Yo, are they re-releasing it for PS5 and they're gonna like up the graphics or something? That's weird. My job, my score, get your own! Are they re-releasing it? Again? You know they did this when when we went from PS3 to PS4? <laughs> Yo, what are you guys doing? We all love thanks. Get me a DJ. Why are you showing us this? Give me a hand with these bodies. Cannot 
trace back to me. Champagne, anyone? Just sort of smash things. I'm very interested to see where we're going with this. Tiffy Cates got this. That's what I'm saying. Three to the four to the five. For are you really gonna re-release it? Why did they, it's weird that they put PS4 up in the corner? Do you think? Do you think GTA? Okay, that's what they're saying. Okay, PS5 owners will get GTA Online free. So yeah, it, it seems like it does play PS4 games. One million in cash every month. So, are they saying that we all just get that? That was kind of fast. For a guy that's talking over what's going on on the screen. More shapes. What's cracking, Tiffy Cakes? Well, it's all of the different symmetrical shapes upon the PS4 controller. Triangle, circle, X, and square. You know where. It was great to it, kick today off with a look back at just some of the seminal moments of the last 25 years. Oh my god. And what better way to bridge our past and our future than with a game that's graced every PlayStation console? Which one? Grand Theft Auto. My man. It's been a privilege partnering with Rockstar Games for many years now. Yeah. And we're thrilled to open GTA today 6? the news that that partnership will continue with oh. PlayStation 5. It's now just over a year since we began sharing technical details of PlayStation 5. Okay. But today's the day that we've been looking forward to for years. Oh yeah, for years. we get years. to show you just some of the games for that years. demonstrate our belief that PlayStation 5 mocks the biggest generational transition our industry has yet seen. I'm, I'm wanting the, the transition, baby. The for today's event showcases oh how PS5 has inspired developers to create new experiences that are transformative and how they look Ooh, transform me into a woman Enough from me <laughs> we're gonna have the games do our talk yeah this guy gets it all game footage you are about to see is is pre-rendered but we're gonna try to make you believe it's like in-game footage or something so just you suck on that mm-hmm mm-hmm a hero is just someone who doesn't give up. Spider-Man! Spider-Man! But it's Miles Morales. Or Morales, sorry. Now it's your turn. Moranis? I'm thinking about Rick Moranis. Be a hero, I want another little Shop of Horrors game. They started it off with a Spider-Man fucking trailer. My man. Hey. I'm so proud of Insomniac, man. That was the funnest game I've played on PS4 in years. Oh, hell yes. What y'all gonna call this one? Hey, that's hot. That's hot. They knew what to front load this with. Thank you, Will Smith. <laughs> they knew what to they knew what to front load this with. That's dope. That's dope. Today I will inform you on the new Gran Turismo. Oh hi Gazimas. Do you like a video game? Do wait, is this okay? This isn't okay. Okay, okay, fine. Um, um is this is this him in, in a game or something? Because it doesn't look real. Are you saying he looks uncanny right now? Mm -hmm. Maybe he's dead in this hologram. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. Though. Do you like a, a car racing game? Very good. Very good. Beholding. Get ready. You see all these switches? We bought to flip them. You see all these gears and shit and dials? We bought to turn them. You see all these mirrors and shit? We bought to reflect them. <laughs> you see all of these in real cars from real life? Shit. You remember Gran Turismo? We back, baby. You remember? 
It's not even a reveal, because we told you what it was before this shit even started, motherfucker, you remember? Oh, hell yeah. You like that? You like that flight simulator shit going on in the background? We giving Microsoft a run for their money. <laughs> but they can't catch us because we're in a car. Run for our money. We drive for our money. Gran Turismo 7. There were six other ones. <laughs> Did you just eat, like, the top? The top of all of the pizza crusts, yes. That pizza is garbage now, Dia, because... No, we're go we're going, like, in-depth with Gran Turismo. Bruh, we get it. You can make these cars look really nice and good and shit, but... You know, I'm, I'm this close to going to start start making that curry chicken right now. I'm not playing stream. <laughs> I got curry chicken that I'm trying to make, and I should have started it before the stream, so it could cook while we were watching this, but... Yo, I am not the one that's into no car racing games, dude. Hit those cars. See, that's why I'm not the one to play this bullshit. I want to play Mario Kart. Hit them. Sideswipe one of those cars and take him off the road. And both of y'all won't win, but at least you'll have ruined that guy's ability to get anywhere. <laughs> oh, you heard that? You heard that? He kind of like shifted gear. Wow. Wow. They can do anything with the video games these days. Wow. See, when they come up to the turn, you got to break. See? That's the smart thing that you do. But me... It tells you when to, when to break. Nice. I want, like, onboard talking to me stuff. Like, uh... Turn left. Yeah. Turn right. <laughs> like, hey, uh... Turn, turn the only way to road will let you turn up here. Hey, that guy over there? Pass that guy. <laughs> okay. Gran Turismo 7 again. There were six other ones. Jesus. Oh my gosh, is it the game you mentioned? Oh my like god, please, second? please tell me it's not what, what Stripes was talking about. Please, God. It can't be. You mentioned it. No, this looks this looks like it has a budget. It's Ratchet and Clank. You alright back there? No way. Holy crap. I didn't think Oh no, Christian was right. Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. They were given away Ratchet and Clank on the PS4 uh, a long time ago. How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please. That's not listening. Damn, we Guardians of the Galaxy the now. Are we are just Guardians. Looks good, but you gotta convince us this isn't just, you know, <coughs> a trailer. Well, it is certainly not good. I think that's all this is gonna be is trailers. So they need to wow us with the titles that they've been working on. Not so much to the uh, prowess of the device, unless they break it down. Hey! Get off me, ship. That looks beautiful. Look at all them particles. Look at the gram fix on it. But also the PS4 kind of feels, you know, capable of that kind of stuff. Oh no, he got separated from the little robot Ratchet. dude. Oh my gosh, that is so obnoxiously loud. Ratchet? My clank. Who the fuck? There's Girl Ratchet again. God damn it. They're coming for the patriarchy so hard. We couldn't get three trailers Hi, in. Smith, creative director at Insomniac Games. The entire studio is so excited to be able to share with you a first ever look at Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. Okay. Brand new full-length interdimensional adventure built from the ground what up. What do you call a Girl Ratchet? We're doing things we've never been able to do before. Like, use dimensional rifts to be able to leap from planet to planet nearly instantly. Or, put ray trace reflections on Clank. You mean Jack and Daxter, All of my dude? All worlds are filled with density and life previously I think Sean Watson is talking about Jack Ratchet and Daxter. He said, what was the other game, ever. like Ratchet and Clank, but yeah. your sidekick was a little ferret? True Ratchet and Clank are near and dear Where? to our hearts and insomniac, right and we can't oh, Jack and Daxter. more like, with you in the future. But for now, <coughs> here's another one. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I can't believe they, they they put a girl in my game. 
Did you see that? Oh no, man. Don't give too much away. Didn't, um... So it's just a fancy looking grappling hook from what we're seeing right now. This kind of reminds me of Bioshock Infinite. Well, in that you could see into another dimension, but this is a hell of a lot more um interactive. You could you could pull stuff from other things and make it real and you could use it. Listen to me. This does look beautiful. I'm impressed. But I am not I'm not feeling like this can't run on the PS4. Do you get what I'm saying? Um, you've never played a Ratchet and Clank game, have you? Mm -hmm. Ratchet and Clank probably has one of the best, uh, one of the best, um, senses of progression. Because its whole gimmick is its guns. And, um, leveling up, you, you know, you see the difference in them and they look beautiful. I wonder if one of those guns is causing all that water stuff you saw. It's a grappling hook, man. That, uh... That dimensional looking thing is just a fancy looking grappling hook. For now. I wonder how long it's going to take some of the uh, artists to fully draw that girl based on the couple of frames we saw her for. Not long, I'm guessing. Especially those that do like furry art. No, I'm sure they just got a screenshot and they drawn the fuck out of it right now. Mm -hmm. Furry's going to love that. Square Enix, huh? We not getting a look at the next... Final Fantasy already? No, what the hell is Luminous? I'm not sure what the hell that's about. In a world not her own. That's right, I'm a lady in these shoes. You, you know that you recognize them, so this isn't like too far fantasy. But look at this glowing fox now. And devotions. And I'm a rise, damn it. Yeah, nah, nah. I did not have a good impression of her jumping from rock to rock just now. Woohoo! She, can, she has the ability to jump. <laughs> have you heard of dragons? Bruh. That was some of the most tech demo shit I've ever seen in my life. Hit For me real. with a dope concept, too. Where are the games, PlayStation? Hmm. Nice. This is a robot. What's this robot store? I'm a kitty cat and I wear clothes as well. Stray. This was about the cat the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of the game, the cat was a robot the whole time. Wow. Wow. No spoilers. Spoilers. A lady cat, too. No. Can't have no man cats around here. Look at the beam. Jesus, I'm sold. I'm sold already. Look at the look at that. And look at these. 
I'm gonna trace these rays. <laughs> Bing bong. Squeedle dee dee. It says the YouTube is not um, streaming this well. I wonder if I have to, if I have to bring it down. Captivate the player and really surprise quite a few people. Please take a look at this new franchise for Robot Studios coming exclusively for PlayStation 5. I'm gonna bring the uh, bitrate down in the hope that it will. Yeah, it looks okay. like it fixed a little bit. Mm -hmm. Try refreshing, my bad. It's weird if I have the bitrate too high, then it like scares the whole stream. I don't like her model. Like everything else in the world looks great. But I don't like her um face model. It feels like big. <coughs> Something about her face feels off. The more I can feel my sanity slip away. But I cannot lose hope. Choice is to keep fighting. You know what this is. To keep looking for answers. This is PlayStation's Metroid, bro. That's what this is. is to break the cycle. So if we got an old lady that for some reason can really move. <laughs> me. Yeah, break the cycle before the cycle breaks me. Returnal. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the big deal with branding is that you have to make something that hopefully nobody else has, which is great. Returnal. <laughs> have I shown you these shapes before? Hmm. Sapphire says her arms look so scrawny and her head looks so huge. That's what I'm saying. I hate her model. You know, I'm not just complaining to complain. I think it's kind of whatever. Oh shit, Garfield the video game? Oh no, that, that looked like Cool Cat for a second. Is it Tony the Tiger? Hell nah. Some weird new mascot, and I want it to stop. It's scary. This is scary. Oh, it's a sack boy. This is Little Big Planet. How cute. Oh no. Oh no, it's not just like Little Big Planet style, it's like a three dimensional type bullshit. It'll be a fun little title for uh, for kids. Um, people are gonna need to. I don't know. The thing about uh, Little Big Planet in the past is that it it's made a decent game, Dia, but it's it's been more about giving people the tools to make their own game. So, with what I, what I'm looking at here, I get very strong vibes of Super Mario, you know, for the Switch. Um, Super Mario Odyssey but if they put as much um, you know assets and game building materials and tools into the game as far as resources that allow people to make the game um, or make levels themselves we could also have a uh, Super Mario Odyssey meets Super Mario Maker which would be fantastic and you know thing is we we've seen a lot of crazy stuff possible on dreams and uh, if this brings a little bit of that to the table, it'd be very, very cute. And uh, it seems to be very um, multiplayer focused as well. So Super Mario Odyssey, but with a bunch of people. I mean, what's not to love? A fantastic launch title indeed. Here's hoping that they put... Um, he's Yeah, he's tired. <laughs> I 
That could be very cute. That could be very interesting. That was a charming little thing. Yeah. Like a little... Every launch title needs something like... I mean, every launch... Uh, uh, what the fuck? See, why does it look like a sport that they're about to jump down and play? Like they about to play some Lucio ball. I'm, I'm already not interested. Ooh. This is the next Overwatch. What the hell is this? They wish, they wish. This looks like a wannabe sport, so what is it? They're in a car. This isn't Rocket League. This isn't your grandpa's Rocket League. This is like, I don't know, Twisted Metal meets being an idiot. Why is it somebody outside of the car? The fuck is this? What the hell is this? I'm guessing that once you destroy someone's car, they get out of their car. Yo, what is happening? Is this a race or is it a demolition derby? Is this Rocket League meets Demolition Derby? Maybe, yeah. Why are people outside of the car, though? Again, it looks like after they, like, either, like, wreck their car so much that they jump out. Bruh. It's, it's adorable looking, but it looks unfocused. And this could all just be for the sake of the fucking trailer, I'm sure. Maybe maybe people running around outside ain't a real thing. But what the fuck is this? Look at the look at the circuit here, you know? Look at like the arena. It's a demolition derby, you got like tools on your cars and power-ups and maybe destruction all-stars. Oh no. Oh no, no. I'm not interested. It's basically just Smash Bros with cars. No 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 no. Nope. Bruh. Y'all better be saving that good shit for last, boy. True Silver Wolf says Fortnite with car. Fortnite has way more going on than people give it credit for. And that's why it's at the top still. And we're very excited today to share with you the first look at our new game. I like these guys. It's a story full of adventure and charm that has themes in personal growth and redemption. Okay. So please enjoy. What? Those were some pretty men. But what's going on here? Oh, look at the cute little guys. Is it going to be like a brother's tale? And they reach the end and their parents are dead. <laughs> that was so oh my sad. god, and they have to have cute little thingies too, my god. This is just cuteness overload, huh? <laughs> it's cute overload, the fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, <coughs> you know how many games are have like a main guy character? Mm -hmm. Two. Two so far. Or I guess three with Sackboy, but still. You know, I was trying, I guess I wasn't noticing in a big way, but you're right. It's pretty much just all female-led games. Yep. Nothing wrong with that, but I don't want it to feel like they're just doing it for the sake of having a girl. Because it's so cheap, you know? It's like mm -hmm. somebody went, why are all the main characters of everything men? What if we made them women? For what reason? If it doesn't serve the story, like, what's really going on? You know, people gave Tomb Raider a lot of shit, but in one of the newer incarnations, they were really implying that this bitch was going to be captured and dragged off and, and you know, struggle snuggled. And that's not cool, but at least they, I don't know. Formed a story around the fact that she was a woman and, you know, and that this is how that might go down in the world. Like, it served narrative purpose, uh, you know, specifically in that situation. You you give a girl a bow and arrow, my dude, and you, we're, of course we're going to draw Horizon Zero Dawn comparisons. But kind of like the cartoon nature of all of this reminds me of Fable, which is pretty whack. What the hell is this? Kina, Bridge of Spirits. Not bad looking. No problem with the being a girl. I just think like as far as the entire uh, showcase is concerned, it seems like that's just a really lame <laughs> way to progress some things. Guess what? It's a lady this time. Linda says that she was hoping Pushin would grow with your irritation. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. I really enjoy that one with the bitch who seemed to be caught in some sort of time loop where she's in a space suit. Like mm -hmm. Let's see what this is. Let's see. Seems to whack. Do that thing you've always meant to do. This seems whack as fuck. Kill me, dude. 
Oh, God. Sometimes I feel like I'm just standing on the edge of doing great things. Barf, barf. On the edge of a fucking volcano they named the high school after. Something's holding me back. Is it the volcano? Y'all want that Maybe shit to go off? it's up? just nerves. Are y'all vi- are y'all dinosaurs? Maybe it's the fear yep. that- Yes! And they're all girls. I'll and they're all as as girls. Imagine. It's an all girl dinosaur school. But I'm still just standing on the edge. But if we've got nothing else to lose- Goodbye, Volcano High. Might as well jump. <laughs> look at the chat. Look at the chat, Dia. Look at the chat. No. <laughs> I had to see the chat. I'm very sorry. Goodbye, indeed. Goodbye is right. <laughs> God. Goodbye, this trailer. Fuck me. It's the end of this video game. Everybody's like, no. <laughs> Wait, look at this one. I like that face. Okay, 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 we're gonna full screen it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kill Yo, us now. It's like, know your audience, bro. For Holy me. shit. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, and I'm here to share with you a game that I've been dying to make. Oh, yeah? It's an emotionally engaging story. Oh! Rescuing is rewarding. Failure is devastatingly hilarious, and the memories should last you a lifetime. I heard that people who made the newest Odd World games ruined it and took all of the charm out, out of what was otherwise a pretty poignant uh, and biting I, series. I, I don't, I don't know what Odd World anything. We'll, is, we'll go into it. I they believed, trusted, followed, and it led them here. What is this? <laughs> I can't. Why? Why? Why are we getting this close up? The fate of your entire people. I love old Odd World, but what it became is scary. Because it's a little soulless. But I'm willing to. I'm willing to hope beyond hope. That it has somewhere interesting to go. I hope that I hope that I hope that Oddworld doesn't lose the plot, dude. Because the the point of Oddworld was never visuals. Let it do its thing though. Show off, show off, but fuck. With the things around his lips, it 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 gave it gave me so much anxiety. I'm I'm surprised they didn't want to make a girl. Yeah. <笑>見ることができます。今までで見たことのない東京の魅力を見て聞いて感じることができます。うん。これから見せするのは暴走ワイヤー東京の世界初のゲームプレイ動画です。オッケー。Mysterious and Supernatural Tokyo, cool. That's cool. Thank you. So charming. This better have a dude in it. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> or a really, really hot lady. You see things others can't. <laughs> Damn it. You know what I don't see is titties on anybody's chest. Others don't. Bruh. Fight when others won't. You know what? You know what? This could be one of the normiest games in existence. And as long as it delivers on the creepy visuals, it's up to you. It would be every Tokyo. creepy pasta losers. Dream game. That look like Slenderman. It's already perfect. Do you get what I'm saying? It's already perfect. It doesn't even need to be that good. It just needs to be surface level creepy for the normies that wanna, you know, ooh, 
headless girl prancing down the street. See, this is what I mean when I say I'm not so, you know, crazy about the graphics on display because all of the games are going to look great. What I'm crazy about are kind of the concepts. Face your fear. Say it. Say that bullshit. Come on, say face your fear. No, the unknown. Better. Thank you. Ghostwire. Took a year. I'm fine with that. I like that one. I like that. I like that one, and I like the Samus one. Where the woman's in the spacesuit. The Returnal? <coughs> hmm? Returnal? Returnal. <laughs> That's a nice name. It's perfect. Sapphire says, I want some blood. Girls, you get blood every month. Just oh my wait. Gosh, shut up. Just wait, girls. <laughs> Pwanda just was saying, kill me to that dinosaur volcano high game. For real. Did y'all really try to get away with some still images as this PS5 fucking reveal? Who is this? Super Brothers. Your trailer was whack. Your name of your game is whack. There's absolutely no hint of what any of this could even be about. Ugh. Year zero, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're better than this. Stop. Get this away from me. What is this? Civilization? Get this away from me, dude. Ghetto says, every time you cough, I feel my eardrums are gonna explode. I will limit my coughing, forgive me. And by that, I just mean I'll mute it. <clears throat> Super Brothers. Guys, we already have a boring No Man's Sky. Thank you. Yeah, we don't. Wally <laughs> too. This this is a this it's it's an insult to Wally. This is insult to this whole presentation. We need to get to what the fucking big things are. The fact that they started this with GTA 5 fills me with so much sorrow because I was hoping that maybe I would see a GTA 6 reveal. I wanted a Harry Potter reveal and I wanted to oh no. Oh, this is that Guardians thing game. Guardians. Yeah. Yeah, there was like some kind of like heroic slasher that Gearbox was claiming to be working on, but they are supposed to need so much more polish. And whenever I see it, I genuinely just think Destiny, but with swords. I really, I really hope that Borderlands fuckboy ass didn't like make it so that our streams get struck because they had to include this song and YouTube doesn't know how to fucking tell the difference between, you know, what to copyright and what not to. Because we're watching it contextually in a live show. I'll probably just delete this stream when we're done anyway. I feel like... I feel like just about every game we've watched has also used, like, a hip-hop song. All of them have, so you're all generic as fuck right now. Because you're all copying <clears> each other. As long as they know... That they're trying to, you know, grab the Fortnite players yeah. with this. I mean, and I'm sure it could be good. It's just, it seems so. Nah. Yeah, we need to see more. <sighs> Reveal something we are dying for. Because if I saw like a new uh, Batman type game, you know, or from the people who made the Batman game. I can already tell it's a girl. 
Nothing wrong with that. I, I don't think this is going to be one of those main games. Um, this reminds me of pretty much every game that they've made available for free on PlayStation Plus a couple of months ago. So listen, unless it's by the assholes who made Journey, it's like, okay, dude, we get it. There's so many walking sims. Okay. They, I'm surprised they don't do what movies do and say from the makers of this, you know? Yeah, because it would give people like, oh, okay, I know who they are, but this isn't... But sometimes it's worth hiding. Sometimes we don't want to know what they made before, because we definitely go, oh, those... Hitman? Again? <laughs> are we sure we need a... It was always going to end like this. Oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. Look, All your hard work. I want my men. Okay, it was always gonna end like this. Only sped up the process. It was always gonna end like this. Slender Man. He's the new Hitman. What if it's not Hitman at all? And now, you find yourself alone. Like, you wanna be uh, cyberpunk, John, baby. No, like, you wanna uh, be cyberpunk, baby. Funny death awaits. I'm bald. Hitman 3, motherfucker. We're remaking it, brother. Here it comes again. Remaster on your PS5, my friend. I'd play that. Maybe. <laughs> Hack and Abrak here from Ion Tractive. Hack and Abrak. In Hitman 3, Agent 47 is back for his most intimate and professional contract Hack in his Abrick. entire career. Hack and Abrick. This is also the dramatic conclusion for the World of Assassination trilogy. Hack and Abrick. I'm so proud to be here to present a little glimpse of the gameplay where no. Agent 47 is on top Hack of the Hack and Abrick. Look, Enjoy. you know if they gave us GTA 6 or... Um, Harry Potter, they wouldn't need to show us no in-game bullshit. It would just be like, guess what we're making, motherfuckers? And I'd be like, oh my god! <laughs> it all led to this. Climbing up a building and shit. Look at me in my mask. A helmet with a wine glass. Champagne, brother. With your suit, you're a dirty motherfucker with the silence. Okay. Is that a glimpse? Is that the glimpse you're talking about? That was just another trailer, motherfucker. Whatever. Guys, guys. It's like you don't understand. They're setting up things that I I'm not sure they're even looking at. <laughs> hey, set up some gameplay, and then they just show another trailer. Ridiculous. Oh, snap. Is this the PS5 interface? It's pretty much the same damn thing. Blow my mind, you fuck. Oh no, these little bastards are back. What do you mean these little bastards? Okay, this looks like the uh, little uh, little robots for PlayStation Home. Kyle is a real man, and uh, you know, I'm a gamer first, but a man first. What? 
Anyway, um, <laughs> I remember when PS4 came out, dude. The PlayStation Home allowed you to basically set up your webcam and play with these little dudes on screen. It was like an augmented reality game. You know how like you can take out your phone and then look and there's a Pikachu right there? Mm -hmm. Imagine if when you look back at yourself, kind of like a filter on Snapchat, um, with the webcam on your PS4, the little robots would play. Girl, mm -hmm. girls just jumped on this shit and took their clothes off and it was the dopest shit that we had ever seen in our life. And PlayStation Home kind of got buried because it was really just a platform for people to get um you know unprofessional i guess but sometimes that's good titties anyway this is the type of game that the um stripes is trying to love <laughs> look how cute it's a chicken you know what when they told him when they told him that they wanted to make a game with a guy this is how much of a budget they gave him they were, they were like, fuck you. So what do you mean you want to make a game with a boy? What, he's a man? You have five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> You're shooting a bear? Yes. <laughs> Charming. Yeah, and that's what some of those, some of these past games have not really landed on, and that's charm. The problem with uh, a lot of these assholes is that they're they're making the same trailer. <laughs> Ooh. I would love for PlayStation Home to come back, Red Sun. I miss that shit. You know that uh, back in the day, PlayStation had its own kind of in-game virtual, like VR chat, called PlayStation Home, and they took that away from us so hard with no explanation, and it was just gone forever. Probably because of the same reason you talked about the lot. You know? No, man. It, there was no way for people to show off them titties and Pete in VR. People could have gotten inappropriate regardless. Well, yeah, What's that's up, what everyone? it's all about. I'm Zion Williamson of the New Orleans Pelicans. Here we go. The first ever teaser for NBA 2K21. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I already had I already had a bad feeling when, when I was like, wait a minute, this dude's speaking like an athlete. <laughs> it's your boy, Shaq, coming at you, representing the Lakers, and I'm very proud to show y'all this game. It's a sports game. Oh hell no, Jesus, live, bro. I'm, I'm a black man, and I'm like, come on, man. Oh man, it's like it's like I'm watching this with my parents, and I'm like, it's a sex scene come up in a movie, and I'm like, oh my god. You know, look at Linda. She out here like full screen pushing. Like that's a lot of sweat. Yeah, look at him getting up and down the ba basketball court. Bam! Slam dunk on that ass, pushing city, baby. Baby, <laughs> pushing two two K two twenty one. True silver wolf. True silver wolf. True silver wolf. Ray tracing the sweat, the sweat on him. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just glad it's over. Have you seen these shapes? I thought I hit you with some more of them. You're welcome. Just in case they were getting uh, you know, out of your mind. I, I bet you want a bed sheet like that. Yeah, for sure. Nah, for real. I just want a black bed sheet. Go to my wish list. It's there. Okay. What do you think this is? You know, we used to have a game called Flower. I'm not joking. Wow. <gasps> Excuse me. Oh my god. Oh my god. He says strawberry. <laughs> strawberry. Oh no, is this what, what Stripes was talking about? Bug fruit? What the fuck? Whoa! 
tasty too. She just said it was sentient. Welcome. I think he's she island of bug snakes. They're turning into fucking what they eat. What the hell? This is just an island of, of food. That's amazing and I love you it. You eat the food and you turn into the food though. That's fucked up. That was like an Fuck apple yeah. crab. Dude, what if this was what Stripes was talking about? She shut us up, man. I didn't know it was made by Octodad and that it's yeah, so cute. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna turn- oh my god. Is that pineapple hand? No, it's a curly fry. Oh, it's a curly fry. Yeah. Liz! Liz, I, um, I was trying to carry a lamp with my weenie hands, but I dropped it, and uh, now the town's on fire. Oh, again? No, dude, what they need to do to seal the deal with this game is uh, get Justin Roiland on board. If that dude showed up and was voiced by uh, Morty, that'd be perfect. Oh my god. I thought it was over. Oh my god, they're combining. Ooh. Oh, are they gonna rise There's up? There's danger bug food. Rise up. Food. Yeah, yeah. We're done being eaten. We're done being oppressed. Now we do the eating. <laughs> True Silver Wolf says, you know what they say, you are what you eat. Bruh. When the X rises, you better lock all your doors. You know she wants what she 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 gave up. Hi everyone, thank you for being with us today for oh. this very special event. That's it. But before we get to the end of the show, bruh, I have something very near and dear to, to my heart. Yeah, okay. What is it? In GTA Six. It, it fucking <laughs> better be. That's that's near and dear to all of us, baby. But it ain't PlayStation Studios, dude. Oh, man. If y'all end with this, I'm going to be so... What is it? What does this look like? Is it the new Skyrim? It doesn't look like God of War. It doesn't look like um, Horizon Zero Dawn. What is this? Don't show me another dragon. It couldn't be. Can you imagine if True Silver was right and it was Knack? Dude, what if they hit us with like a Dark Souls type? It looks too cartoony. It can't be a Dark Soul. Wait! Wait! Well, I don't know. That's too big, man. Come on. Oh my god! I don't know what that is. Demon Souls is the original Dark Souls. Nice. Whoa! Wow! Destin is a next gen first person shooter about rival assassins locked in a time loop. Bruh. This is our unique vision, what Arkane is all about. Freeform immersive gameplay, a surreal player-driven story smashed together. Ace, Ace chat, you, you ever think to yourself, you better shut your fucking mouth because anything you say is going to come out quote-unquote insensitive, you know? So I, wanna he I don't want to hear anybody making no fucking baguette the video Hello, game Hello. jokes. All right. It's fucked up. Is that how we put? He put nails in that. The real party doesn't start until he's dead. She is not making this easy. The lighting, man.
not so much the lighting. What the fuck? Um, as a, uh, as I guess the um, the textures that impress me. But this could be um. It's cold. Nope, you're ready to loot. Already. Ah! Busted. Die. Damn. Good morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Our time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Alright, I was about ready to reject the concept of another time loop video game, but what I'm impressed and enjoying is what feels kind of like a super hot type arcade run out and try to kick everybody's ass thing, but inevitably you get cut down and you just keep trying to do it again. This really reminds me of super hot. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake. Black Reef's protect and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, Wait. I will break this cycle. Loop. Cool. I think we may have heard of this game before. So here's what's super interesting. If we did see this game before, it didn't um, properly make clear its uh, concept slash premise. Mm -hmm. And what it seems to be is a game where you are running through arenas, kicking everybody's ass before they can kill you because it'll reset the loot. But it also seems that perhaps there will be other real people involved in it mm -hmm. that will be playing against you whose job it is to kill you as well. I don't like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference. So that's cool. Cute. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, um, it'll be all about how it's implemented because it's not the first time we've seen, you know, hey, th jump into this map with a bunch of AI that are hostile to everybody, but try to kill the other guy, you know? And that seems all style it, and no substance. Bethesda game. Yeah, I also saw Bethesda name pop up. A young girl. Whose story comes to a close, bro? But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence. She's empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free of Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mm -hmm. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine, under branch, and into the forest. What is it with that creepy story? It's just a local tale. You're really into that stuff? Quit being so paranoid. No, no! Friendly! Friendly! Who are you? Who sent you? How'd you survive a... What the fuck is this? Whose final tale is this? Be reasonable, L like, you're putting us in a world with zombies strong enough to just bust through fucking, you know, structures like that? This shit don't seem... What the fuck is going on? Are you playing as the old man? That'd be pretty dope. 
And did he miss when he shot at the dude? How do you miss somebody point blank with a shotgun? That's what it's for. Is that a werewolf? What the fuck is, is this? Is he Ben Helsing? Is Dia right? No, it's called Village. But well, she could also be right later. Uh, uh, what? Resident Evil. Chris? Sorry, Ethan. What? Hey. What? Okay. Well, damn. If that's the last one, geez, that's a that's a strong Listen, way that's to end good it. because yeah. a lot of people thought they were just gonna keep remaking old Resident Evils and it's continuous loop. That was fucking cute. Yeah. That was the first proper reveal we've gotten this whole show, man. Y'all can't end it without giving us GTA six or something fucking Or Cyberpunk. I thought that Dead Space Three was supposed to happen too. Is this Dead Space Three? Because look at his helmet. It kind of reminds me of Dead Space. This better be Dead Space 3. It's Dead Space 3? Maybe? Come on, guys. I think it is, dear. And what I would love is if now Death Dead Dead Space takes on like Death Stranding vibes. What is this? Pragmata. What is that? Freedom. Our freedom. I want it to be the successor to Dead Space. That's what I want. And we're going to find out more. Chase said Death Race 3 came out six years ago. Oh no. The forgotten uh, Dead Space, as far as Gael's concerned. What is that it? Oh, for the love of God, you're making us hot now. Dude. Dude. I'm not sure y'all know what the hell to show us anymore. The old ones. Perished a thousand years ago. Their great cities. Turned to graves. In their place. Came new life. They should have did the crab dance. Yeah, I was gonna. I was Come gonna on. Say, are they gonna do the crab dance? They should have did the crab dance. <laughs> and I looked out like, oh. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn. I think they could end on this. Beautiful. I must find a way to stop it. Or it will get worse and worse. 
I guess I gotta play this game for you, huh, Dia? I guess so. Until it destroys us all. There aren't a lot of games I finish, but this was one of them. There's nothing I wouldn't do to save this world. We've been waiting a while. No depth I won't explore. Holy shit. We've been waiting a while. No secret I won't unlock. It's important you know, Dia, this is the PlayStation's strongest no I won't cross. exclusive. Mine I would put this above Spider-Man. If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. I would effortlessly put Lance Reddick. Yes! Forbidden West. Okay. But whatever comes. I will be ready. Bruh, let me tell you something. Um, I like to consider Horizon Zero Dawn the spiritual successor to the Metal Gear Solid franchise. The entire team at and Gorilla, they effortlessly knocked it out of the park with that first game. And when it ended, we're we learned that Hideo Kojima had far future America. a hand in it. A beautiful but dangerous frontier. Fucking incredible. Mysterious new threats. Get ready to explore distant lands ravaged by massive storms. Wow. Take on new powerful machines as you return to the majestic world. Um, Eddie says Thank they'll end on GTA 6. We can't wait for you to get your hands on it. We'll see. They could end on this. This is pretty strong. This is pretty strong for me, like I said. Oh no, are they going to end on... Guys! Big fans are going to be really pleased. As a game designer, we went through tons game. of We're stuff when we had to go home to not die no during they quarantine. Are, no they are. During quarantine. During quarantine. And now we have to make these videos from home. But some of us don't even feel like talking, so just show our face. Just show my face. A million face, a picture place. We are game developers. Gay. I figured they'd end it there. That sucks. We really want a GTA 6 uh, reveal, but I guess Rockstar is so dope that they don't need to share the stage with anybody, huh? Does that hurt you a little bit, Dia? Not really, no. I think they knew what to end it with. Mm-hmm. And that's fine. Ooh, woo, woo. You know, I'm really, I'm really upset with the joke that True Silver Wolf thinks that they just made in the chat. Okay. I don't get the joke. Why are you making us watch this? End the show if it's over. Oh, are they going to show us what the PS5 looks like? I guess so. Don't milk it. Show us the fucking hardware. Bruh. Okay. It looks neat. Bro. That is awkward. 
I don't know about that. It's kind of weird. Can you imagine, like, the side of this bitch getting hooked on something? As long as y'all proud of it. If anything, I, I would prefer mine to be standing versus flat on the ground. I know I'm not looking at one USB port on the front of that fucking device, homies. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. The PS5. For the love of God, save us. So I guess the controller's touchpad wasn't a screen like some of us thought it might be. Like the nerds we are. <sighs> we got more hardware porn. But look at these angles on this device. True Silver Wolf said it's a super villain console. <laughs> oh, there's two different devices. One takes disc and one does not. I think I'll go dickless. The wireless controller, which has a charging station. You've never seen that before. Here's a camera, it's optional. And also some headphones, why do you even want a remote now? Are you gonna sell us a TV too? <laughs> Introducing the PlayStation chair. Aww, oh, it's over. We hope you've enjoyed the first glimpse of our future today. Give me the fucking. You've seen our most striking console design yet. Guys. And you've seen games that can only be enjoyed with the full range of PlayStation 5. Guys, Dia and I are burning alive in here, dude. I'm actually good. I am afraid that when you turn that on, I'm going to get really cold. Listen, I'm terrified that when I turn on the AC, it could, it could cause a surge that causes a power outage. So if it does go off. I appreciate I apologize. Hale RM says that shit is ugly as fuck. <laughs> He's still gonna cop it though. Yo, we're all gonna get it. Eventually. I just don't know if I need to get it right off the bat. Not when you're only showing me Horizon uh, Forbidden West, bro. You know? I'm, in I'm interested. I'm impressed, but... Bruh, it's gonna, you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be a Switch situation. A lot of people didn't need a Switch before motherfucking Animal Crossing. And that's when everybody was like, oh, oh, I gotta get to the Animal Crossing, you know what I mean? So what if PlayStation finds themselves in a situation like that where it's like, okay, what, I'm gonna buy a PS5 to play fucking Spider-Man and Horizon Zero Dawn, please? I will be ready. It's gonna be a badass game, but the digital one does look slim and clean. That other one looks awkward. You put this line on the front of it? Oh, no. They should have made it take dicks in the back or something. Kyle, you can't say that on stream. Ugh. Uh, YouTube's TV now. You gotta be careful. Whatever. This was lame. <laughs> I said it. But I'm glad that we could do it as a family. I love you. I appreciate you. I am literally sweating. This was freaking, you know, not... I, I didn't get... I didn't get Grand Theft Auto. Okay? I didn't get Harry Potter. And I'm kind of salty about it, but this was just a, this was basically just a big showcase for them to unveil a couple of games and to show off uh, their new hardware. So ladies and gentlemen, um, thank you for joining me in this. Someone tell me later if Pragma, Pragmata or whatever is, uh, is, um, is written by the guy who did Dead Space or something. There are a lot of cute things in there that I liked, but... Nothing that was, I don't know, bing bong worthy. It's nice to see Miles Morales. Look at that girl. They making a, they making Demon Souls. Oh my God. <sighs> True Silver Wolf says the stream was fantastic. I rated a four out of ten. Well, they tried, you know. <laughs> it could be uglier. I can, I'll give them that. It could be uglier. Love you guys. Catch you later. This was. Adorable. Bye. <laughs>